an ounce. An Antiques Heroic Journey Truck 16 at the Pentagon on September 11th I'm Jim Fugate and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. In 1955, a beautiful fire truck was manufactured in Allentown, Pennsylvania. This Mack, model B85, was a ladder truck and was, of course, the classic red. It was built with a gorgeous extendable ladder that reached 85 feet into the air that was mounted at the center of the body. Like any classy red vehicle from the 1950s, it was, of course, a convertible. And to offset its bright red color, the truck had silver chrome bumpers, shiny silver chrome sirens, an old-fashioned signal bell mounted at the left front, and red lights all around. It's the kind of rig you could easily imagine dashing to the rescue with a Dalmatian in the center seat. Lights flashing, sirens blaring, with firefighters hanging off the back. This awesome open-top fire truck was placed into service with the volunteer fire department in the little town of Woodsboro, Maryland, not too far from Baltimore and DC, where it became known as Truck 16. To be sure, it was lovingly cleaned and polished, carefully maintained, and was a source of pride to the firefighters who depended on it. Over the years, this fire truck became a bit less impressive when compared to the modern fire trucks. Not as big, not as powerful, not as fast, not as, well, new. But this dependable machine remained in service for a long time. It was an example of solid and dependable engineering. One would find no computers or plastics on this superb analog wonder. As the years passed by, the ladder truck was moved off the front lines and placed in reserve, meaning it was no longer the first out the door, but remained ready to respond when called upon. And it was, at the turn of the century and the millennium, there was talk of retiring and selling off Truck 16. It was old, and when compared with the current state of the art, it was, well, behind the times and somewhat limited. Then. As the nation collectively experienced the nightmare of September 11, 2001, a call came to the volunteer fire station in Woodsboro, Maryland. It was later in the day on the 11th. The towers had collapsed. The Pentagon was burning, and one passenger jet had flown into the ground in an open field just up the road in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. That fateful call came and was answered by Mickey Foyk, the shift supervisor and an odd conversation began. It might have gone something like this. Hey, how tall is truck 16 at its highest point with the ladder stowed? And how wide is the fire truck? Foyk, probably a little confused as to why it mattered, gave them the numbers. We need truck 16 now at the Pentagon. It's the only truck that can do the job. Get it here now. So as soon as enough firefighters arrived at the fire hall to make up a crew, they were off at the blazing speed of 55 miles per hour, which in the 1950s was plenty fast. Two firefighters rode in the truck as the days of hanging off by strap on the back had ended decades before, and three more followed in a duty vehicle. A bit over an hour and 60 miles or so later, they arrived. Then the reason truck 16 had been called became all too clear, and why the unusual request for measurements mattered. There are five structural rings of the Pentagon with a bit of open space in between each. And these rings are built surrounding an open center court. The fires had continued burning at the Pentagon beyond the aircraft impact point and it was now almost September 12th. Most of the jet fuel had finally burned away but there were still fires raging in the nearly inaccessible space under the roofs of these multi-story rings. Problem one, an elevated stream of water was needed from the open centered courtyard inside the rings of the Pentagon to help control and extinguish the fires that kept running along under the roofs. Problem two, there was no way to get any of the big, beautiful, powerful, sophisticated ladder trucks through the small portico drive throughs that led to the center courtyard. They were just too big. The solution to both of these serious issues was found in a 1955 Mack 
B85 fire truck with an 85 foot ladder. Beginning outside of the burning edifice, Truck 16's driver slowly coaxed it through the porticos with barely inches to spare overhead and on every side. Once inside, the crew positioned and set up the ladder. A two and a half inch fire hose was laid out to the top of the ladder. A heavy nozzle was attached to the open end to control water flow. A firefighter went to the top and by hand directed water onto the roofs. Controlling a large bore nozzle is physically tough. Even when you and the hose and nozzle are strapped in, the firefighters took turns for hours on end directing much needed water onto the roof of the Pentagon, while others arduously endeavored from inside and out to get at the runaway flames. As the second day after the airliner flew into the building began to fade away, after someone applied a cutting torch to remove much of the top off of a newer, larger ladder tiller truck with a built-in waterway and a remotely controlled nozzle and a radio, modern enough to work with everyone else's on scene, Woodsboro's Truck 16 was relieved. As planned, not long after Truck 16's service at the Pentagon was completed, it was sold to a collector, a retired firefighter in Hagerstown, Maryland. And if you're lucky, you might catch this red, open-topped Mack B85 ladder truck with polished chrome all over in local parades. A side note, for a time I was able to work closely with this antique truck and its crew in the courtyard of the Pentagon. In short, I was honored to help, and it was a surreal experience made better by interacting with an expert crew. So, here's the ounce. In our world, we seem to be scurrying forward with bigger, faster, better, more sophisticated, multi-use, digital, and high-tech. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. However, in our collective sprint forward, it would be folly to forget the wisdom, lessons, and tools of the past. The problems we face are not new. The solutions also are not always new. Like that little fire truck built in 1955 became a critical solution in 2001. The future is found in looking forward. If there is wisdom to move forward competently, it is found in looking to the past. And just admit it, a story about an antique, shiny red, open-top 1955 Mack B85 fire truck with a center-mounted 85-foot ladder saving the day would make anyone smile. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration.